Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Veronica and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading for you. And as you can see from the title, we will be focusing on your crush. So who is your crush? What do they think of you if you know them? This reading was chosen by you guys. So you choose and I deliver and that's how it works on this channel. So if you like Pick a Card readings but you have not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so. And the next video that you will see on my channel will be all about your soulmate. So another one of my series on your soulmate. So make sure to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I will upload that video. I go live on Twitch three times a week and do tarot there. So if you guys are interested in getting some free reading and getting to know me, please join us on Twitch. The link for it will be in the description box if you guys have any questions anytime, just check the description box. Let's go to the card selection and then I'll see you in your reading. All right guys, so here are your cards. This is group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So please take a couple of minutes, at least a couple of seconds to focus on the inflow and outflow of your breath. This will let you connect to your intuition and choose the pile, the group, and the message that you were meant to hear. Feel free to pause the video right now if you need more time. The timestamps are in the description box and also pinned in the comment section. Just click on your timestamp and I'll see you in your reading. So we are going to start with the group number one. So hi group number one, you guys chose the car council of light. Let's see who has a crush on you. All right, group number one. So make sure to stay until the end of your reading because I will also be pulling the initials for your person, for the crush, for the person that is crushing on you. And I will be letting you know at the end of the reading, what are the zodiac signs or the rising sign or the moon sign. All right, guys, so let's start here. Who is your crush? Who is crushing on you? I do see that this person that is crushing on you, he or she is very secretive. It's someone that you wouldn't think has a crush on you. And I, I think that because we got five of wands and it's in reverse. And to me, five of wands in reverse represents avoidance. So this feels like this person is trying to avoid you, trying to even avoid um, having a conversation with you. I don't know if it's because they are shy or they're afraid um but i do see that they are definitely mysterious we got the moon card and that is another card that is letting you know that they are just secretly having a crush on you and i don't think i don't think you realize exactly who that is if you had a particular person coming to this reading on your mind and you were hoping to hear about that person i'm not quite sure if that's actually the person that you are asking about because it really feels like that person either has a lot of secrets or is just in general crushing on you and admiring on you uh secretly it's like your secret admirer that's what i see um and they're like trying to avoid the avoid the conversation with you um it feels like it's very hard for them to open up so what else do we have we have a homeland card and this one is really sticking out popping out uh, to me a lot it really feels like that person that is crushing on you is someone from your hometown that's the first thing that came into my mind it's it could be someone from your hometown it could be someone from um just a place that you spent a lot of time at so maybe it's not literally your hometown but you feel like it's your second home if that makes sense or that also could be representing someone that you met during some sort of like traveling when you were uh, on some sort of journey you were traveling to a different country or you were like going on vacation because i'm getting also like a vacation vibes but i mostly think this is someone from your hometown it feels like you know that person and that's why this person is secretly admire, admiring you and having a crush on you. And I also see you with that unrequited love. Um, this card says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I think it basically means that 
they do have that crush on you but they're stay staying quite secretive about it because they really don't think that you will like them back or you like them back and they can't really imagine just you liking them that's why they stay quite secretive about it all right guys so let's just move on we have king of swords and we have two of swords in reverse so that makes me feel like it's a person that could potentially be an air sign it's someone that spends a lot of time just thinking <laughs> like literally someone that is constantly in their head someone that is planning a lot someone that is very smart i also sense that that they are very smart they are perfectionists but they at the same time it feels like they're very shy and even though they would love to have this heart to heart conversation with you um it just feels like something is just putting putting them back and two of swords also represents ultimatum if it's in reverse to me so that makes me feel like maybe there is a reason why they can share that love or maybe attraction you know they ex they can't express themselves uh their attraction that they feel towards you because they have been given some sort of ultimatum maybe you are actually in a relationship and they don't feel like they can cross that boundary or as i was saying they don't really feel like they're good enough for you that uh it feels like you are like on a different level if that makes sense it feels like they think you are out of their league <laughs> that's why i see a group number one so um i said it could be an air sign but keep in mind i also have the zodiac signs here which we are going to get to in a second so i also got the yearning card all right and this one says longing for someone undesired separation so that could be another thing as i said you guys that might be a person from your home uh, hometown, the place you used to maybe grew up in or you used to spend a lot of time in and it feels like you guys got separated. And I, I know I said at the beginning, it's like you probably won't realize or, or you don't realize that the, this person likes you because they are very secretive about it. But I do see that you guys, you guys know them. It feels like you don't know that it's them but you know each other it's like you used to be friends or at least you met a couple of times because it really feels like they feel like they got separated from you and they would really love to uh, get to know you again but for some reason you guys got separated and they are really just feeling this extremely strong attraction towards you group number one um, but I don't think that they feel like they could be in your league, if that makes sense. So let's see what zodiac signs we got for you guys. We got Virgo, so that makes me feel like that person might be a perfectionist. It's someone that loves nature. So maybe you guys used to grow up uh, on a farm or basically you used to just spend um, your time together with that person surrounded by nature. That's what my spirit guides are saying at the moment. Something about nature, something about just all the, the natural habitat and being perfectionist. Uh, it also could be someone that has been complimenting you but the compliments have been very detailed and very small it's like it's like someone realizing that you have new earrings you bought new earrings and that person realizes it no one else did no one else does but that person is pointing out like hey i like your new earrings it's like these really small details and they were uh, complimenting you on that that's also what i'm hearing so we got a libra guys that's why we also could have two swords in reverse because it feels like that person was very indecisive and libra is like quite indecisive people but um what else are you <laughs> we also got cancer and that makes me feel like um they could be someone that is just very shy and it's hard for them to open up um so just keep in mind this is a general reading that could be moon sun or rising virgo libra and cancer so let's check their initials and i'm going to pull a couple a couple definitely because this is a general reading and it's for a lot of people so just keep in mind also keep that in mind <laughs> you can't speak oh geez i have to slow down today has been crazy busy um anyway just keep in mind this could also be their nickname 
So let's see, for group number one, what initials do we have for the person that is crushing on my group number one? All right, we got quite a few. So we got G, we got X, okay. We got C, we got R, Z, D, D again, and U. I'm gonna pull like two more, I think. All right, let's see, what do we have? Group number one. We got P, and the last one is Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark P. Hmm. Okay. And ask guys. So that's all that I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And if you would like to find out who is your soulmate or who is your future spouse, make sure to check out one of my previous videos. I will link it up here for you guys. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, I do offer those and the link is in the description box. Other than that, thank you guys so much for joining. Please make sure to leave a comment, let me know how did this resonate and made you feel. And also, if you know who that person is, maybe you realized. Thank you so much for joining. Have a great day. Bye bye. Group number two. So if you guys chose a priestess card, this is your reading and let's see who has a crush on you. Alright, okay, group number two. So make sure to stay until the end. I will be pulling some initials for your person and I will be letting you know what is their zodiac sign or their rising sign, moon sign. Alright, let's just get into it. So guys, group number two, who has a crush on you? I feel like the person that has a crush on you, it's very, very possible that this is a soulmate connection. And I say that because we got two of cups. And whenever I'm pulling a two of cups, this lets me know that the person that we are asking about, there is this very strong connection between you guys. So it's definitely a person that you know. I think it's someone from your friend group, someone that you are friends with. It's someone that is very focused on their career or it's someone that is just very focused maybe on writing their thesis. It's someone that is hard worker and I definitely see that because we got eight of pentacles and we got nine of pentacles and we got king of pentacles. So these three are making me feel like it's potentially uh, an earth sign. Uh, but I also got a different cards here, so I will talk about the zodiac very soon But I definitely see it's someone very reliable. It's someone that has a very big knowledge um, In their field of work. It's someone that seems like an authority It's basically not someone that is trying to get up the career ladder using someone else it feels like um, it is a person that works a lot and whatever they have achieved in life, they have achieved that by their hard work and they have created that amazing life for themselves on their own. So I definitely see that the person is just very focused on building, on creating. Uh, it feels like it's someone that is also giving an, an advice to others. With the Knight of Pentacles, it makes me feel like they are taking this relationship between you and them very slow. So they're crushing on you, but at the same time, they don't want to push it too much because it feels like you guys are quite good friends and they don't want to push that boundary. It feels like they're scared that if they're going to push that boundary and tell you how they feel, you might just kind of reject them and them and then you guys won't be friends anymore. And even though we pulled the two of cups, which is the soulmate connection, we can find soulmates in so many people. It doesn't have to mean that we have to be in a romantic relationship with them. It just feels like it's a person that you vibe with very easily. Whenever you guys talk, you, there's never like an awkward moment. It feels like you can just be yourself around them and you don't have to pretend to be anyone else. There is no like a, an awkward silence whenever you guys talk. Um, it feels like you guys just vibe, even though you might be focused on totally different things in life. It feels like that person has a crush on you, but also they are kind of giving you space. Um, they don't want to, as I said, push this too much. I do think they might be hoping that one day you guys will be together, but they feel like they, they can't push it right now. They don't want to lose that friendship and lose that 
connection that they have built. I feel like it's throughout the years with you because Knight of Pentacles and then King of Pentacles just make me feel like it has been like a long-term relationship. Um, all right, guys. So yeah, we got the card love yourself first. So that is something that they're focusing on and also they want you to focus on. They want you to just feel and just be the best version of yourself they don't want you to be focusing on being with them it feels like they want to do their thing and they want you to do your thing and whenever maybe they will feel like it's ready as in they are ready and you are ready for this next step they might tell you tell you how you feel but i definitely feel like they just don't want to ruin that connection that they have with you we also got the card keep an open mind so that's another card that is kind of making me feel like they just want they don't want to be closing any doors right now they want to keep all the doors open all the possibilities open because it feels like maybe they are in a relationship right now that kind of makes me feel like they could be in a relationship but it's not very long term or at least they don't see it as a possibility of being a long term so they still have a crush on you because feels like they have been crushing on you for years guys or for months for like very long time and you guys got very close at one point but then you kind of you know stopped and um, maybe it's something that you guys never discussed this is also making me feel like sometimes at the party you might be um, just kind of snuggling but you never think anything more of it because you feel like that's how it usually is. I don't think this is for all of you. So if you guys are like, why? I'm not snuggling with anyone. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's just for someone. That's a message that I went through. So yeah. Okay, let's move on. We got endurance, keep going. So that that's kind of the same message as in uh, with the Knight of Pentacles. They just feel like they still want to be friends with you. They still want to connect with you. They are crushing on you, but... As I was saying, it's not the right time right now. It's like, keep going, keep going. Maybe in the future, okay? Just, just keep going. So I also got the card, Farewell to the Moon. So this one is talking about appreciating and enjoying the lunar light and cycles. If you guys know someone, or maybe, you know, it's that person, feels like that person might be either quite spiritual or it's a person that has trouble falling asleep when there's a full moon. Mm. you know that a lot of people do right maybe you are one of those pers one of those people let me know down in the comments if you can't fall asleep whenever there is a full moon i want to know how many of you actually feel that way <sighs> it's pretty hot okay so that's how i feel uh we discussed that let's go and see their zodiac sign even though i said guys it's possible that they are an earth sign and yeah i pulled taurus um so taurus people Taurus people are very loyal. They're extremely loyal to their friends and it's someone that you can always count on. And I definitely feel that. So we got Scorpio. So it's someone that could be just, you know, giving you that look and stare at you constantly and you just feel their eyes on you. So, Ooh. <laughs> okay, and we also got Pisces. So we got two water and we got earth. Um, that could be their rising moon or sun sign. Just keep that in mind because this is a general reading. So let's just pull the initials and see uh, what are the initials that also could be their nickname, guys. So please keep that in mind. Uh, this is a general reading also, so I'm going to, you know, pull a lot of initials. Let's see what we got for group number two. Group number two. All right. Is this enough? Let's see. We got an S. M. K. Another S, another S, okay. Um, okay, sorry, that was five and O, <laughs> and zero, I mean. Uh, C, T, S, and R. I'm going to pull a few more, because we got S all the time. We got like four times S, group number two. So let's see, J. A twice and P. 
So that's all that I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to find out how do they feel about you, the person that you have on your mind, make sure to check out one of my previous readings. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It really helps me out a lot to build this beautiful channel. Comment down below, let me know how this resonated and made you feel. And if you know exactly who that person is, I would love to hear from you. I do offer private reading, so if you guys want me to focus on your specific energy, the link is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Group number two, take care. Group number three, so you guys chose a line in your life card. Let's see who has a crush on you. All right, group number three, so make sure to stay until the end of your reading. I will be pulling the initials for the person that has a crush on you, and I will be letting you know what's their zodiac sign or their rising moon sign. All right, so let's start here, guys. Ooh, <laughs> I do think that the person that has a crush on you currently, it's someone that you have either spent some time with on your own alone I'm not gonna lie it could be a person that you have spent one night with or you have spent some nice time together just in general and then it kind of ended feels like you guys had this very strong sexual attraction with that two of wands but for some reason you guys decided that it's not the time or they thought that it's not the time to take this relationship on to another level um, and I do see that you guys have spent some time together and the time that you have spent together has been very special it's something that you still remember so I definitely feel that the person that has a crush on you that is crushing on you at the moment it's someone that you know I'm not gonna say super well because that could have been a situation where you met that person once you got that very strong connection and you know you never really talked again or maybe you talked but never really talked about very deep stuff or you didn't really talk about your background about their background it just really feels like you guys got that a very strong attraction um, and had no really need to talk with that person about your life about your background about their background etc okay let's just move on because I do feel a, I do see that with the card wave of power so it feels like it was an exhilarating moment um, it says surge of power upswing in energy so it feels like it was a very uplifting time very uplifting energy or, or also that could just represent the fact that whenever you were with that person it was someone that was just uplifting your energy very very quickly and uh, it's someone that had a very huge impact on the way you feel and on your motivation on your inspiration that also that is also something that i see so i do see with the eight of cups and four of cups okay let's start with eight of cups eight of cups in reverse so this is representing a situation where you got attached to someone on an emotional deeper level however you have to walk away from them and you don't want to so that could be representing you or could be representing them just the fact that one of you had to walk away from this potentially long-term relationship like it feels like you guys you know as i said connected on a deeper level but then so one of you had to move on with their life you didn't want it but you had to leave that person behind or they had to like leave this connection behind um yeah it feels like they were quite indecisive it was really hard for them or for you to make that decision but the decision had to be made uh, with a four of cups in reverse this is making me feel like you know, Four of Cups is the energy of someone just constantly wondering. It's like wondering, not really taking an action, um, being neutral about the situation. But when it's in reverse, that lets me know that they finally made up their mind. And um, they made up their mind and they right now see that they want to be with you, that you are a person that had, that is very special to them. And uh, the magician is letting me know that you, first of all, you guys have this really great communication because uh, the magician is representing communication, but also this is letting me know 
that they will want to reach out to you soon. That's definitely what I see. Uh, we have past life relationships and we also have free yourself. So this free yourself card probably um, is connecting with what I was saying before, just the fact that you guys could not be together for some reason and you had to keep this relationship kind of like open and be a little bit more open-minded um, or the situation that has happened between you two. It feels like one of you maybe ha have been in a relationship during that time when you guys kind of hook up um, and you just couldn't, like you had to like free yourself from something or someone before maybe considering being with that new person or that, that could be vice versa, the situation might be vice versa. That's why it's like someone had to walk away because the other person was not ready or something something about that. But it feels like um, with the magician that right now is a good time for you guys to be together if you want to, of course. It really feels like they will be reaching out to you soon because they want to reach out to you. And you guys had this very strong connection and they finally kind of like made up their mind or the, you know, it feels like the situation right now is much simpler and it's easier for them to make a move or for both of you just to make a move. Um, yeah, we also got the card pass a life, a relationship and it says you have known each other before. So that's just another confirmation that you guys that you know that person, that you have known that person. This is all actually a card also that is talking about past life relationship. So um, it's possible that you guys knew that person in your past life. So whenever you met that person, maybe you had that feeling that you can connect with them very quickly and easily. It feels like you have known each other for such a long time, even though you haven't. Um, maybe it's because you guys used to know each other in your past lives, so that's exciting. So what else do we have? We got the car mirror, and that makes me feel like whenever you guys were looking at that person or whenever that person is looking at you, they see themselves in you and you see themselves you see, you see this one. You see yourself in them. It feels like you guys are quite similar, or you have a very similar just behavior, way of thinking, beliefs, uh, same same humor, taste in music, etc., etc. It feels like you guys are quite similar. Uh, so for the zodiac signs or rising moon sign, what I have, guys, we have Sagittarius. So that could be a person that seems quite fiery. And I do see that with this two of ones. Maybe that is something that made you very attracted to them, just their self-confidence. Uh, we also got Scorpio. So that could be a Scorpio. And also got Pisces. With this, I do feel like that person is getting attached very quickly. It's someone that is also very blunt, very, very honest. Uh, it's someone that is not messing around. Uh, so just keep that in mind, could be the sun, moon or rising. Let's do, let's check the initials and I'm going to pull a few because this is for a lot of people. And just keep in mind, this is a general reading guys. So let's see. The initials, that also could be a nickname. Initials for the group number three. Initials for the group number three. Let's see. So we got G, we got N, we got, oop, we got R. Ooh, it's very small. We got M, A, J, S, S twice guys, S twice, and also K, and one more, I. If you guys would like to find out if this is a soulmate connection, next week I will be uploading another video of focus on that topic. So if you're watching this video when it was released, maybe you will have to wait a couple of days. If not, if you guys are watching it, maybe you know, next month, next year, 2021, hello. <laughs> I will link it up here for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know how this resonated with you and made you feel in the comments down below. If you know who that person is and what's going on between you, or maybe if that person will chat you, I would love to know about that. Also, if you would like to support your girl, just leave a like, subscribe to my channel and share the link with your friends.
that is helping my channel a lot if you guys would like to book a reading with me the link is in the description box for that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time take care group number four my last but not least okay you guys chose the card trust your path let's see who has a crush on you all right group number four you decided to be a little bit extra and i got five tarot cards instead of four for you today so who's the person that is crushing on you currently make sure to stay until the end i'm going to be pulling initials at the end of the reading for your person and i will be telling you their zodiac arising or moon sign all right guys so i think that it's someone that you definitely know it's someone that for some reason had to get give up on that connection it feels like the time was not right something was not right something was standing on uh your way on their way to be with you because i got the wheel of fortune in reverse so wheel of fortune in general is a very temporary energy so it feels like the energy used to be like that however now it's changing that's why they are still having a crush on you or they're like crushing on you again if that makes sense so i do feel like the timing was not right it feels like maybe that person uh lived in the same place where you lived but then they had to like move out and i'm thinking about that because we got six of swords and also nine of wands so six of swords is making me feel like they had to like travel somewhere else or they had to like just disappear from your uh from your life it feels like it's a person that definitely you guys were you know hanging out with i feel like the connection between you two happened like very quickly it feels like um you met in a very like a sudden way in a very weird certain circumstances and i get that with an eight of wands eight of wands is also talking about traveling so another 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 card that is talking about traveling and we got the freedom card god i'm like jumping all around the place i'm sorry but it's like i want to talk about all of the cards all right so that really makes me feel like that connection between you two happened very quickly maybe guys you were just friends and never took that onto another another level uh or if you did it was like a one-time thing and then they had to leave or you had to leave i do think there is like a big focus here on travel and also just saying that the timing was not right um so i nine of wands in reverse is the energy of the person that can't prove themselves it's like they know that it's impossible for them to prove themselves to you or it's impossible to like jump over that obstacle so they are like giving up for some reason oh wow all right i just realized so uh a little spoiler we got the capricorn but i wanted to talk about what the card was what this card says i'm sorry i'm stuttering so much okay so it says the end of a tough cycle approaches so the end of a cycle as i was saying it was not the right time but now they feel like it's the right time and they're dreaming about you group number four i got the nine of cups and this is fantasizing this is daydreaming this is just hoping wishing setting intention to be together with you or to just to get closer to you uh, but yeah, we got the freedom card. So that makes me feel about like the sign of Sagittarius. However, I didn't pull any Sagittarius card, but that makes me feel like the person that has a crush on you is very independent, very self-sufficient. It's someone that is creating their own success. It's someone that is um, that doesn't really need anyone else in their life to make them feel happy they're just happy with where they are and who they are and um well that doesn't change the fact that they are crushing on you but it just really feels like that person is very independent maybe they just live on their own and maybe they have lived on their own um since they were like 16 or 17 it feels like it's someone that is very independent maybe they have their own company they have their own business etc etc so it really also made me feel like guys with a vision card makes me feel like who that the person that has a crush on you feels like you guys had a dream about them at least once maybe lately you are dreaming about someone from your past or i'm dreaming you know about that person but yeah someone from your past and yes they're also thinking about you 
that's the person that is crushing on you. Maybe they are actually dreaming about you at the same time. But I do think that you guys um, had that person on your mind for quite, a, quite some time right now or lately that person kept on popping up in your head and you're like why why do i still keep thinking about this person why is this person in my head why am i even like what what what's going on in this connection but yeah with the vision card it really makes me feel like you keep on seeing them either in your just in your mind throughout the day or uh in your dreams also, this is letting me know that they are dreaming about you. So uh, from the romance car, we got very soon and we got attraction. So attraction, it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And also very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you really feel like that person might be reaching out to you, group number four. Um, and there is this just very strong attraction between you two. Um, maybe you don't feel that way at the moment, that, but I do feel that if they reach out to you, you will be feeling quite attracted to them kind of straight away. So uh, what zodiac signs do we have? So keep in mind that could be rising moon or is their sun sign, their zodiac sign. So we got the Capricorn, I spoiled that before. <laughs> we got Aries card. So the Aries card, that makes me feel like it's a person that will let you know straight away that they like you. It's just someone that just will literally tell you, hey, I like you, hey, wanna go out with me? <laughs> they will be extremely honest and quite impulsive. This is a very impulsive energy right as well. So we got Gemini card as well, guys. So this makes me feel like it could be a person that is a puzzle to you. Um, it's very hard for you to figure out what that person wants because it feels like um, even though they might be speaking, you know, speaking, like literally letting you know that they want to go out with you, it feels like you never actually know what's on their mind truly or this is kind of making me feel like they are constantly in their head and they always have these like amazing ideas and it's like a, this person is quite a puzzle even though they are very impulsive and if they want to tell you they will tell you that they like you or what they like about you or whatever you know they might be very honest but at the same time they keep a lot of things to themselves and they are very very deep thinkers all right guys let's see what initials we have for your person just keep in mind this is a general reading so i'm going to uh pull couple and also that could be your nickname not only their surname or their name first or second name so group number four what do we have for a group number four initials for my group number four all right guys so let's see we got k we got w we got d another k m g o y that's quite a few r t and S. All right, you definitely guys got more initials than the previous groups, but I guess that's what my spirit guys wanted me to pull. All right, that's all that I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please help your girl out and leave a like, subscribe, let me know down in the comments how this resonated and made you feel. If you know who that person is, what's the story behind all of this? Let me know. I do offer private readings, so if you'd like to book a private reading with me, so I can focus on your specific energy. The link is in the description box for that. Check out one of my previous videos to find out who is your soulmate or who is your future spouse, their first impression of you. Thank you so much for coming and I hope to see you next time. Take care.